The court will come to order. The world versus Jehovah's Witnesses for Crimes Against Humanity. This is a preliminary hearing to establish who the leaders of Jehovah's Witnesses are. The prosecution will be represented by the Honorable Erwin Zakin. The defense will be represented by the less honorable Jehovah Bot 2.0. We trust we will have an orderly hearing today. Objection. Counselor, we haven't even begun yet. Relax. <laughs> Mr. Zalkin, please call your first witness. The prosecution calls to the stand Anthony Morris. Please state your name for the court. Anthony Morris, the third. Okay, Anthony Morris, the third. <laughs> oh, sorry, the third. Mr. Morris, are you okay? You seem agitated. You've never seen anybody die before, have you? Can you state the beginnings of your relationship with Jehovah's Witnesses? As a young person, I had some exposure to the truth taught by Jehovah's Witnesses. My dear mother studied the Bible with the witnesses, but she did not progress toward baptism. I thoroughly enjoyed sitting in on my mother's studies. About that same time, I went by a kingdom hall with my stepfather. I asked him, what is that? He answered, don't ever go near those people. Because I loved and trusted my stepfather, I took his advice. Thus, I lost contact with Jehovah's Witnesses. Sounds like your stepfather was a wise man. After your stint in Vietnam, what happened? I ended up going to a kingdom hall of Jehovah's Witnesses in Delray Beach, Florida. I believe you were living out of your car because you became a JW after studying with some guy named Jim. The very day Jim found out that I was living out of my car, he put me in contact with a sister who owned a boarding house. I truly believe that Jehovah used Jim and that dear sister to provide a nice place for me to stay. Jehovah is so kind. He takes care of his faithful worshipers. Yeah, that's quite a miracle. So you believe Jehovah took care of you. But why doesn't he take care of the children who are molested in your congregations? Let the record show Mr. Morris simply shrugged. Mr. Morris, you've given many talks on the dangers of tight pants. Would you say that you may perhaps have homosexual tendencies? For the record, please state the men you have felt an attraction to. I stopped at prisons and even placed tracks with men in the restrooms of the rest areas. To this day, I wonder if any of those seeds that were planted ever sprouted. Anyone else? A male nurse. Anyone else? Charles T. Russell. Really? Charles T. Russell. Isn't it true that you yourself like to wear tight pants around your home? Why do you do that? They make me look good. How did you wind up at World Headquarters? In August 2002, Susan and I accepted the invitation to become a part of the Patterson Bethel family in the United States. I worked in the service department and Susan in the laundry. She loved working there. So you got to work in the service department making big decisions and probably eating donuts while your wife worked in the laundry. And she liked it? She loved working there. Yeah, I bet she did. So how did you become a member of the governing body? In August 2005 I was given the privilege of serving as a member of the governing body. That was quick. Strangely quick as a matter of fact. You do a lot of flying around the world as a member of the governing body? We do a lot of flying. No doubt first class all the way. Official church teaching is that you and your seven buddies on the governing body will be raptured to heaven and will participate in the slaughter of all non-JWs. What are you looking forward to the most? The smell of burned human flesh and the sight of blood and gore. Human flesh burning from a helicopter crash? People that look like uh, humans like a hot dog on a grill, blackened and splitting open. Uh, I know what's coming in Armageddon. A lot of dead people. A lot of dead people. Hot dogs hot. Well, that's disturbing. 
Your Honor, I believe I am done here. It's clear Tony is a leader of the Jehovah's Witness cult. Prosecution rests. All right. Defense Counselor, your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Brother Morris, how can you be so awesome? No further questions. The defense rests. Okay, I think that's it for today. The prosecution can call further witnesses tomorrow. I need a McAllen scotch now.